Hello everybody, this is Practice Dummy, and you're here to learn how to install GZ Doom. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process, uh, nothing uh, too much um, to do about it, so uh, let's go ahead and just get right started. Uh, right off the bat, uh, I'm already at the site, but I'll have the link posted below to where you can click on. It'll take you right to here. As of July 13, 2013, GZ Doom 1.8.2 is the current release version. So when you go to the site, go ahead and click download, and then um, you'll see here version 1.8.02, that's current version. So you click there and go ahead and download that. And so now I've already got it downloaded, so, and I got a special folder I put it into. Um, ignore uh, the Brutal Doom folder, that's a different mod altogether. The Skins folder, and that's for something else altogether. And then this right here is the configuration file when you first start GZ Doom, so that won't be there. But when you download the uh, at GZ Doom, be in a zip file. Now I use 7-Zip, which is a free program that unzips files. So if you have 7-Zip, just right click, select 7-Zip, and then go ahead and just extract here to you know the same folder. It's not going to hurt anything for that. But then when you get all that extracted, that pretty much takes care of the whole issue you'll have um, uh, these files here plus that one and of course this one here will, um, will be created once you actually start up GZ Doom. These two right here are different. Uh, this is a different mod altogether and this has to do with another mod as well. So those are not part of the package here. That's just a little extra deal. But then all you have to do is go ahead and you can also of course uh, right click send to and then desktop to create shortcut to create a shortcut and I've done so and I put it into you know a different uh, folder. The way my desktop is is I created special folders for different things. Uh, it cleans up my desktop a lot so I don't have a whole mess of icons like games for example. Um, I put in all the games I've installed not including my Steam games which don't require uh, the files for you know said uh, games. I just simply go straight to Steam. Now, of course, when you um, have GZ Doom, you got to make sure you have an actual uh, copies of Doom. Um, like I've got the Ultimate Doom, Final Doom, and uh, Doom Two. Um, <laughs> through Steam. Uh, because you'll need them, and especially uh, GZ Doom's got to detect the WAD files. Uh, you don't need to know what they are, but you just got to basically have them installed. And when you start up GZ Doom, you should get this uh, couple of windows, one in the background, don't worry about that. But you get um, uh, this window pops up, and for every Doom game you have, if you got the original Doom or the ultimate Doom, you'll get that. Uh, Final Doom will have the Plutonium Experiment and TNT Evolution, and then Doom 2 Hell on Earth will have its own WAD. So all you have to do is select whatever one you want, click OK. Um, if you've got multiple Dooms, don't check mark the Don't Ask Me This Again, because you um, I don't know how you go about changing up if you want to change that up. So just you know select whatever one you want. In my case, I'd be selecting the Ultimate Doom, click OK, and start. Now, as far as recording this video goes, I don't dare start because it'll start a whole new file uh, cons uh, on my recording software for whatever reason. I got to think of why that's happening with my uh, capture card and get that fixed. I don't want it to change to a separate file when I actually start up the game. So, but uh, once you select whatever game you want and click OK, it will start up and you're good to go. And that's essentially it as far as uh, GZ Doom goes. And GZ Doom uh, enhances the graphics. They're not pixelated or hardly pixelated at all. And it really gives a whole new uh, enjoyable factor for uh, playing Doom and Doom 2. And it also adds some extra features to their um, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know if the original Doom and then the uh, final Doom uh, had these features in there where you can use the mouse for mouse look up and down. But I do know GZ Doom enhances and allows for that. 
and also instead of using uh, I think like the arrow keys to move around you can use WASD you can customize controls or whatnot I don't know uh, I can't remember whether or not that was uh, part of uh, the ultimate doom and final doom and doom 2 by uh, if they weren't then GZ doom adds them to there so uh, but I hope this helps you out. GZ Doom is pretty much easy enough to install. And as I said, this uh, file here, um, once you start up GZ Doom, it'll create the configuration file there. And then Brutal Doom and the skins are totally different. They're not part of the uh, GZ Doom install package. So that's pretty much it. Hope this helps you out and enjoy fragging the crap out of some demons. God bless you one and all and take care.